Hi everyone, I'm Sushi Roll from TwoTentsDown.com. We are more than halfway on our Appalachian Trail through hike and we thought it would be a perfect time to do a tent review. We have the Z-Pax Duplex tent. The Z-Pax Duplex is a two-person single walled tent held up by trekking poles and stakes. Okay, so we use our Lucky Cork Light trekking poles um, to hold up the tent. You can also order tent poles from z -Packs, but we do the trekking poles because it lowers the weight of the tent. Um, also, you can make this tent freestanding by ordering poles that will, will hold up the tent, um, but again, we use just the trekking poles because it keeps the weight of the tent down. Okay, so this is what the tent looks like when the, the door flaps are up. Um, they roll up and they clasp right here on the corners. So there's two doors here, and we keep it like this most nights, as long as it's not raining. And when both sides of the doors are open like this, it, it makes for a really nice air, air flow through the tent. This is how the tent looks when the doors are, are closed. They connect down here at this, um, on this clasp here, so you can connect them like this and tighten it up so that the, the doors are really tight. And then you close this little slit here by uh, connecting these, this piece here. So we put our packs in the vestibule like this and the, it, it's nice because it fits right underneath here and the door flaps come over the area and when the rain comes down on the door, it just, it just comes down on the outside. And this area here, this little triangle, it usually stays pretty dry when we have the door, when we have both of the doors closed. So we put all of our extra gear in this area here. Hey guys, this is what the inside of the tent looks like. And it ends up being really nice as far as height goes. We can sit up all the way. Even when we have our sleeping pads in here and our heads don't touch the ceiling. Um, let's see, these things are nice because you can put little things in here, although we don't tend to, but this piece is, is um, nice because it holds up the bathtub on the side while still having a little netting here to have really good air, air flow. So the cool thing about the floor of this tent is that it has a really high bathtub. Um, and which really prevents any water from getting in the sides and it's very adjustable as well. Um, we do not use a ground sheet and we haven't needed a ground sheet at all, funnily enough, until last night, which I'll explain why we, why we had leakage. I'll explain that later. I want to talk about the pros and cons of using the Z-Pax duplex on our through hike. I want to talk to you guys about tent stakes. When we bought the tent, the Z-Pax du duplex, we bought these recommended tent stakes, which are made of carbon fiber and they're really lightweight, like 0.2 ounces. And uh, however lightweight they are, they have not lasted for, you know, they haven't held up to the ground while we've been on our hike. Um, we've broken at least four or five stakes and we've had to replace them with other stakes. So, um, Although they're lightweight, it's just not worth it to use these. Instead, we have been using um, some MSR stakes, and they just are a little bit heavier duty, and though they weigh a little bit more, we haven't had any issues with these breaking on the, on the hike. So I would recommend to use a different stake if you're gonna use the duplex. So the Z-Pax duplex is a single walled tent, and the great thing about that is it's really lightweight and we've been really lucky to have a very lightweight tent on the, on the trail, it just makes our packs a, a, a little bit lighter. Um, another great thing about it is that when it's, it's warm and there's not gonna be any rain, we can leave the tent doors open and it creates really great airflow and very little condensation on the inside of the tent. And also, when these doors are open on both sides, it makes the tent feel bigger. So with having two of us in the tent, it makes it feel like not such a small space. 
So the Z-Pax is really structurally very strong. And when it's really windy, we haven't had any issues with the tent falling over or collapsing or anything like that. And when we have rainstorms at night, um, it is waterproof and we, ha and we usually don't have any issues with that either. Um, the only time that we do have issues is when it's raining really hard all night long. And How long? Like, I'm talking like the entire During night. those times, we have the doors mm -hmm. closed and uh, condensation builds up on the inside of the tent. So when we're breathing, we're, you know, there's condensation building up on the, on the uh, ceiling of the tent. And then when it's raining really hard, those water droplets are pounding on the tent and the condensation is bouncing off of the inside of the tent onto our face and onto our sleeping bags and we wake up in the morning and we have a layer of water on the inside uh, like on the t sleeping bags and on our faces which it's not enough water that it's like it's you know, damp it's I damp. mean our sleeping bags are damp yeah our sleeping I mean, bags are just damp and it's it's not the worst thing in the world but I think this is one of the cons of having a single walled tent okay so do you want to tell us what happened last night Okay, so uh, last night we had our first encounter with having water on the inside bathtub of the tent, which we've never had before in 105 nights on the trail. Um, the reason this happened is because we were camped down a hill and it rained all night. So the rain flowed down the hill and created a puddle under the tent and next to the tent and unfortunately the, the bathtub floor could not withstand that much water. Because we were in it for quite a few hours. It yeah. rained for about 10 hours straight on us, didn't it, last night in the tent? Yeah, so we ended up, it, the, it ended up leaking through underneath, through um, the floor of the tent, and we had our sleeping bags dipping into the water. It was just a mess of just water drenching everything.